The Socialist Party USA, officially the Socialist Party of the United States of America SPUSA, is a multi-tendency democratic socialist party in the United States. The SPUSA was founded in 1973 as a successor to the Socialist Party of America, which had been renamed Social Democrats, USA a year before. The party is officially committed to multi-tendency democratic socialism. Along with its predecessor, the Socialist Party USA has received varying degrees of support when its candidates have competed against those from the Republican and Democratic parties. The SPUSA advocates for complete independence from the Democratic Party. Self-described as opposing all forms of oppression, specifically capitalism and authoritarian forms of communism, the party advocates for the creation of a radical democracy that places people's lives under their own control a non-racist, classless, feminist, socialist society in which the people own and control the means of production and distribution through democratically controlled public agencies, cooperatives, or other collective groups full employment is realized for everyone who wants to work workers have the right to form unions freely, and to strike and engage in other forms of job actions Production of society is used for the benefit of all humanity, not for the private profit of a few." Headquartered at the A.J. Must Institute, the SPUSA's national office is located at 168 Canal Street in the Chinatown neighborhood of New York City. The party has four chartered state organizations in California, Michigan, Maine and New Jersey as well as 28 chartered locals throughout the country. In October 2015, the Socialist Party USA nominated Mimi Soltysik for president and Angela Nicole Walker for vice president. Topic: History. Topic: Background. In 1958, the Independent Socialist League led by Max Schachtman dissolved to join the Socialist Party of America. Schachtman had written that Soviet communism was a new form of class society, bureaucratic collectivism, in which the ruling class exploited and oppressed the population and therefore he opposed the spread of communism. Schachtman also argued that democratic socialists should work with activists from labor unions and civil rights organizations to help build a social democratic realignment of the Democratic Party. Though he died on November 4, 1972 and had little involvement with the Socialist Party in the year preceding his death, his followers, identified as Shockmanites, exercised a tremendous amount of influence on the party. In its 1972 convention, the Socialist Party changed its name to Social Democrats, USA by a vote of 73 to 34. The change of name was supported by the two co-chairmen, Bayard Rustin and Charles S. Zimmerman of the International Ladies' Garment Workers' Union, ILGWU, and by the first national vice-chairman James S. Glazer. These three were re-elected by acclamation, renaming the party as SDUSA was meant to be realistic. The New York Times observed that the Socialist Party had last sponsored Darlington Hoops as its candidate for president in the 1956 election, who received only 2,121 votes, which were cast in only six states. Because the party no longer sponsored candidates in presidential elections, the name, Party, had been, misleading. Party had hindered the recruiting of activists who participated in the Democratic Party, according to the majority report. The name, Socialist was replaced by Social Democrats because many Americans associated the word socialism with Soviet communism. The party also wished to distinguish itself from two small Marxist parties. The convention elected a national committee of 33 members, with 22 seats for the Majority Caucus, eight seats for Harrington's Coalition Caucus, two for the Debs Caucus, and one for the Independent Samuel H. Friedman, who also had opposed the name change. The convention voted on and adopted proposals for its program by a 2-1 vote, with the majority caucus winning every vote. On foreign policy, the program called for firmness toward communist aggression. However, on the Vietnam War the program opposed any efforts to bomb Hanoi into submission and to work for a peace agreement that would protect communist political cadres in South Vietnam from further military or police reprisals. Harrington's proposal for an immediate ceasefire and an immediate withdrawal of U.S. forces was defeated. 
Harrington complained that after its previous convention, the Socialist Party had endorsed George McGovern with a statement of constructive criticism and had not mobilized enough support for McGovern. After their defeat at the convention, members of two minority caucuses helped to found new socialist organizations. At most 200 members of the coalition caucus joined Michael Harrington in forming the Democratic Socialist Organizing Committee DSOC, which later became the Democratic Socialists of America DSA. At its start, DSOC had 840 members, of which 2% served on its national board in 1973 when SDUSA stated its membership at 1,800, according to a 1973 profile of Harrington. Second, many members of the Debs Caucus joined David McReynolds in reconstituting the Socialist Party USA also in 1973. <laughs> Founding The Debs Caucus formed the Union for Democratic Socialism and on May 30, 1973 incorporated the Socialist Party of the United States of America, usually simplified as the Socialist Party USA. Many activists from the local and state branches of the old Socialist Party, including the parties Wisconsin, California, Illinois, New York City, Philadelphia and Washington, D.C. organizations, participated in the reconstitution of the Socialist Party USA after its founding. The party promoted itself as the legitimate heir of the Socialist Party of America. Former mayor of Milwaukee, Frank Ziedler, was elected the first national chairperson of the party. Ziedler also helped reorganizing the party structure during its early years. He was later nominated as the party's candidacy for the presidential office, with Ziedler believing the party would be able to collaborate with other socialist parties nationwide to spread the message of socialism. Topic. Subsequent history Since 1976, a member of the party was elected to the City Council of Iowa City and several members have won tens of thousands of votes in elections for statewide offices. In 1992, Socialist Iowa City Councilwoman Karen Cubby won her re-election with the highest vote in a contested election in the history of the Iowa City Council and was re-elected until retiring from the council in 2000. In 2000, Socialist Wendell Harris received 19% of the vote for mayor of Milwaukee, Wisconsin in the primary. In 2008, Socialist John Osborne pulled in 22% of the vote for Rhode Island's 34th District State Senate seat while listed on the ballot under the Socialist Party USA label. During the 2010 United States Senate elections, Dan LaBotz of the Socialist Party of Ohio received 25,368 votes in Ohio. In 2011, Socialist Matt Errard was elected to a three-year term on the city of Detroit's Downtown District Citizens District Council. In 2012, Socialist Pat Noble unseated his incumbent opponent in winning election to the Red Bank Regional High School Board of Education. Socialist John Strinka received 10% of the vote while running with the party's ballot label for Indiana's 39th District State House seat, and Socialist Troy Thompson received 27% of the vote for mayor of Floodwood, Minnesota. Also in 2012, candidate Mary Alice Herbert received 13.1% of the vote for Vermont Secretary of State while running with the dual nomination of both the Socialist and Vermont Liberty Union parties. 2016 candidates For the 2016 general election, the Socialist Party nominated Mimi Soltisik and Angela Nicole Walker to be its presidential ticket. Other party members ran for office as well, including Jared Williams for United States Senate in Nevada, Seth Baker for Maine Senate and Michael Anderson for the Michigan House of Representatives. Membership <inaudible> 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 According to the party's first chairman, Frank Ziedler, the party had around 500 members nationwide in 1975. The Socialist Party experienced substantial growth during the late 1970s and early to mid-1980s, expanding from only around 600 dues-paying members to around 1,700. In 2008, WMNF claimed that the party had around 3,000 paying members. However, a Common Dreams article suggested that the organization had only 1,000 members in 2010, with party members claiming it to be an increase in the number of members. In May 2011, an article from the New York Times stated that the party has about 1,000 members nationally. 
In February 2012, an article from The Root stated that the party had a membership around 1,500. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Current elected officials. Topic: <laughs> 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 Local boards of education. Pat Noble, member of the Red Bank Regional High School Board of Education. Topic. Ideology Topic. Positions While some party members favor a more gradual approach to socialism, most others envision a more sweeping or revolutionary transformation of society from capitalist to socialist through the decisive victory of the working class in the class struggle. Some party members also advocate revolutionary nonviolence or pacifism while some consider armed struggle a possible necessity. The party's statement of principles rejects equating socialism with a welfare state and calls for democratic social revolution from below. The party is strongly committed to principles of socialist feminism and strives to further embody such commitment in its organizational structure. Its national constitution requires gender parity among its national co-chairs and co-vice-chairs, its national committee members and alternates and seated members of its branch and region elected delegations to the party's biennial national conventions. The Socialist Party also rejected the new health care reform law of 2010 approved by the Obama administration, with Socialist Party national co-chair Billy Wharton claiming it to be a corporate restructuring of the health insurance industry created to protect the profit margins of private insurance companies." During his campaign, 2008 Socialist Party candidate for President Brian Moore, was very vocal against the idea that Barack Obama was a socialist of any kind. He further commented on the issue, saying it was, "...misleading of the Republicans," to spread that message. In a later statement about Obama's policies, Wharton called Obama's 2010 State of the Union address a public relations ploy and concluded saying, The time for slick public relations campaigns has ended. The time for building our grassroots movements is more urgent than ever. The Socialist Party USA stands ready to join in such a political revitalization. Topic. International affairs The party's National Action Committee condemned the Israeli actions during the Gaza War. The party demands that the federal government of the United States cease providing military aid to Israel as a precondition for peace. The party also seeks to begin an immediate withdrawal of American troops from Afghanistan. During the 2008 presidential election, the Socialist Party continued to place a strong emphasis on its full-scale opposition to American wars abroad, with Brian Moore, the presidential candidate, claiming the war was destroying small communities throughout the country. He also criticized what he called, "...pressure on the local governments," by the Bush administration. The Socialist Party of Connecticut denounced Obama's troop surge in Afghanistan, claiming that the president wasted needed resources the country needed to get pulled out of the financial crisis. After denouncing him, the state affiliate organized a protest in front of the federal building in Hartford. In April 2017, the party issued a statement opposing further United States intervention into the Syrian civil war. Ten days later, the party issued a follow-up statement opposing both the Khan Shaken chemical attack and United States' subsequent missile strike. In May 2017, the party condemned the Manchester Arena bombing and stood against any attempt to turn this tragedy into political capital to further right-wing agendas and target oppressed communities. Topic. Government Socialist Party candidates, such as New Jersey gubernatorial and Senate candidate Greg Payson, have also emphasized immediate public service demands. These reforms include socializing the United States health care system, a steeply graduated income tax, universal rent control and the elimination of all educational debts and tuition fees. In 1997, Payson called auto insurance, a regressive tax against working people. Moore was also vocal of his support for public health care and socialized medicine. Moore believes that capitalism is a system based on both exploitation and selfishness, which operates to serve the interests of corporations and the ruling class at the expense of workers and the poor. 
During his presidential campaign, he claimed that the lack of available remedy to collapsing economic conditions stems from the capitalist system's foundation upon greed and advocated its replacement with a new system founded upon economic democracy through social ownership and workers' control of our reigning industrial and financial institutions. <laughs> State and local parties As of August 2017, the Socialist Party had 24 chartered locals and 5 chartered state parties. Topic state parties Socialist Party of California Socialist Party of Maine Socialist Party of Michigan Socialist Party of New Jersey Topic Local Socialist Party of Central Alabama Los Angeles Socialist Party Socialist Party of Ventura County Bay Area Socialists Oakland, California Front Range Socialist Party Denver, Colorado Washington, D.C. Socialist Party Chicago Socialist Party Socialist Party of Greater Springfield Illinois Greater Indianapolis Socialist Party Northern Indiana Socialist Socialist Party Socialist Party of Central Kentucky Socialist Party of Southern Maine Socialist Party of Eastern Maine Socialist Party of Boston Socialist Party of Twin Cities Metro Minneapolis Minnesota Socialist Party of Northern New Jersey Central New Jersey Socialist Party Capital District Socialist Party of New York Socialist Party of Central New York Socialist Party of New York City Northern Piedmont of North Carolina Local Socialist Party of Philadelphia topic presidential tickets in each line the first note refers to candidates and results, the second if any, to ballot access the number of state plus D.C. ballots, out of 51, on which the Socialist Party candidates appeared Carrot endorsed the Citizens Party's candidates in 1984. Topic see also List of elected socialist mayors in the United States Brian Moore Presidential Campaign, 2008 Stuart Alexander Presidential Campaign, 2012 Mimi Soltisic Presidential Campaign, 2016 Topic Notes Topic References Smallwood, Frank 1983. The Other Candidates, Third Parties in Presidential Elections. University Press of New England. p. 317. ISBN 0-87451-256-5. Presidential elections since 1789. Congressional Quarterly, 1991. p. 248. ISBN 0-87187-609-4. Donald F. 2000. Democratic Socialism, A Global Survey. Greenwood Publishing Group. ISBN 0-275-96886-3. Freeman, Joe 2008. We Will Be Heard, Women's Struggles for Political Power in the United States. Roman and Littlefield Publishers. p. 263. ISBN 0-7425-5607-7, for Green Politics. Topic further reading David A. Epstein, Left, Right, Out, The History of Third Parties in America. Arts and Letters Imperium Publications, 2008. Alan Feuer, Inside Socialist Party Headquarters. The New York Times. October 20, 2008. R. W. Tucker, The Debs Caucus, A Party Within a Party. Madison, Wisconsin. Socialist Party of Wisconsin. December 1970. Topic external links Official website The Radical Pamphlet Collection at the Library of Congress contains materials from the Socialist Party of the United States of America. The Mapping American Social Movements Project at the University of Washington has mapped votes, membership, newspapers, and elected officials, membership by state and more.